Hello, my name is Norris and this is a quick tip for Sublime Text made exclusively for Web Design Tuts Plus. In this little quick tip we are going to record a macro and then call the macro with a keyboard shortcut. Now macros are very handy when you want to ease some repetitive tasks and over the time I found myself doing the same thing over and over again. There are several use cases of what I'm going to show you and I've included my code for these little snippets in the post notes. So what are we going to do? So let's see. When I say, for example, background, and then URL some image dot png. What I usually have to do here is I hit command right arrow to get to the end of the line, and then add a semicolon, and then hit return. Now there's another way to do it, and that's with Sublime Text macros. If I'm back at this position. What I can do is I can either hit command semicolon or I can hit command shift semicolon to get to a new line and add the semicolon at the previous one. And this is really a tiny, tiny little snippet, but it's so helpful for me at least. You can record um, your own snippets like this. For example, if I'm writing a PHP array, right? Then I say array. And if it's an associative array, I say yes. Uh, then I hit command right arrow equals greater than and then no, for example. And then again, command right arrow, comma, return. And then I start writing a new line. Instead, what I can do is I can say no. And then I hit command shift dot and it automatically completes everything for me. And now I can say yes, and then I hit command return, a new line, uh, hit a, uh, a single quote again, and then I can type yes to, and again, command shift dot, and there we go. So this is a, uh, another snippet that I've made for myself just to speed up some tasks that I just don't like doing. So how do we do that? Well, it's actually pretty simple. I'm going to delete everything from here and go to line five and save the file. And I'm just going to write some little text here. And now let's record the snippet that is going to add a semicolon at the end of the line. So I'm just going to put the cursor in here Go to Tools, Record a Macro. Now I'm going to hit Command, right arrow, add a semicolon, and then let's just advance for two lines and leave it at that. So when I'm going to say Tools, Stop Recording Macro, then go back to Tools and Save Macro. I'm going to save this as a double semicolon and I'm going to save this in Sublime Text to Packages and User. Hit Save. And now I'm going to open up Sublime Text Preferences, Key Bindings, User. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this line here and duplicate it. And instead of Ri Arrow, I'm going to say Double semicolon like this and I'm going to add it to a keyboard shortcut of super alt shift and semicolon and when I save that I'm going to get an error and that's probably because you need to add a comma here because this is an array. Now this looks pretty confusing and I hope that there is going to be some kind of interface for this someday. But currently um, just copy a line and paste a line in and if it throws an error at you then you just know that you have probably missed the comma in there. And if I save that again and go back to my file, zoom in again, and I'm going to type some more text and just go somewhere in here. And now if I say Command-Alt-Shift-Alt-Shift 
shift and semicolon yep there it is so it added the semicolon and it jumped two lines down and that's exactly what we wanted recording macros and assigning them to keyboard shortcuts is as easy as this and you can go nuts with this if you have any creative ideas how to use this actually please share them in comments and I would love to read them also I'd like to point out that there's a great resource for this in sublimetext.info and here you can see all the different keys that uh, are bindable and things like that by the way the folder location for each platform I think is a little different uh, so it's platform specific for Mac users uh, you have to go into your user uh, then find the hidden folder library uh, which is hidden since Mac OS Lion then inside application support sublime text packages and then your user and here you can find all of the macros that you have recorded and some other settings now for Windows users and Linux users I'm going to post where you can find the directory uh, for your platforms as well so I hope you enjoyed this little quick tip and thank you for watching.